All right, one, two, one, two. We're going to see what we can do. Um, this is the, the town Christmas tree they use to have the Christmas tree light ceremony here at, uh, out in front of Brannigan right there right by City Hall. That's it. That's our little town Christmas tree, y'all. I came by one night and they were lighting it and uh family over there was over there, a father and a mother and the two little kids. They really enjoyed it. It was really cute. It's, you know, it, it's neat to see a family when, they, when they're when they enjoying one another and they're in those good moments of... of, of uh, of enjoyment of one another, man. Yeah, I even had that. I had that with uh, Patrick and Steffi sometimes. It was rare, but it was there because she was she was homosexual and she was trapped and miserable in the marriage. And I had it with Amy. We had it. Me and Amy had it more than uh, me and Steffi. Of course, we were married longer. But Amy grew up in a family that would go to Disneyland and things like that. All the good moments were when they were doing stuff like like Disneyland. So Amy always had to have money and being going to a restaurant or going to an amusement park and then every time we got money you know we had to go do something fun and blow our money and they used to drive me nuts because I was like why don't we just take this four thousand dollars and we pay off the car and then save it for next year and so then next year after this instead of having to pay 700 a month in rent we can pay uh five hundred four hundred month in a double wide house payment on somewhere out in the de oh never mind you know <laughs> I was always like oh forget it just we'll just keep doing it your way because you're the more fun parent and I'm the old fuddy-duddy you know she was a butthead. God bless her. She was dumb as a box of rocks. Ah, wow. <laughs> I have a tendency to get people in between the two extremes. And because um, I intimidate a lot of intelligent women and they think I'm always trying to either be arrogant or talk down to them, we typically don't have lasting relationships. And then the women that want to have a relationship with me want to extremely show me the other extremes and then check me and dominate me unless, of course, I follow their agendas verbatim. So that's what usually happens with my relationships because our society is so wickety-whack and so out of out of whack that um, I, my relationships are out of whack. And so when I understand the sanity of relationships, um, I understand the insanity of them also, so it's really cool. So when I talk to people, typically when I talk to people, I talk to people that are a little bit more courageous now, and or at the other, there's you got to understand there's two forms of courageousness. Um, there's uh, courage of love and what we love, you know. So if you love altercation and violence, you know, you'll confront me, uh, but you'll do it in a in an intellectual fashion. You won't do it in a physical fashion because. It is something that's irrational that can get you sent to jail, and then you won't be able to fill your your superficial uh, your superficial needs. And everybody wants to fill the fulfill their superficial needs, and so um, most people don't, you know. And then if, if somebody has a a reputation of being a badass, you know, he's not going to risk his reputation of being a badass against me to get his ass kicked. And uh, most people that are lab rat badasses in the military and stuff like that don't want to be. Ex can't be exposed and don't want to be exposed. So the Koch brothers couldn't send somebody to kill me with one of their switchers. They've tried that. It doesn't necessarily work. The switchers actually end up loving me the more than they love the Koch brothers. Well, it's because the Koch brothers are kind of set up by the Rockefellers to be the fall guys for their fuck up because they want to be saved from their fuck up. So they got to find somebody else to buy into the bullshit so they can eliminate people for the bullshit because somebody's got to pay. Uh, we can't do it through honest uh, faithful and intelligent reason and through just admitting we're wrong because they were so bad they don't want to admit how bad wrong they was you know what I'm saying and most rich and famous people you know that are celebrities and stuff like that aren't really that bad they've just got caught up in some really bad shit and don't know what they're in kind of like Cat Williams was talking about when you go to those parties and you go going what the fuck did they sacrifice some virgins in here uh, I'll just leave you know that kind of shit so no Oprah Winfrey's a very good person she's just caught in with some really crazy fuckers that she can't feel like she can't get out of and that's what's going on I really love Oprah a lot I really do guys I ain't I'm just saying that it's not just because she's got a big pair of titties and a big booty that helps but <laughs> I'm a guy woman I haven't taken a selfie today and I'm not gonna take a selfie I'll take one tomorrow I did. I, I saw Dave, and I, I, I cut. I, I colored and cut my beard, and cut my hair, and I've got the baggy shirt and jeans. And yeah, my shoes aren't as big as David's. <laughs> I know David. David is probably a little bit better, uh, well endowed in certain qualities than I am. He has bigger hands, bigger feet, bigger ears, and 
He better be packing because he's goofier looking at me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around. <laughs> I got that from uh, from Jeff Foxworthy. But yeah, <laughs> that's too funny, man. Um, or you grow into your ears and your feet and your hands and stuff like that, and you're just a very tall, big, well-endowed, handsome man like Stedman Graham. <laughs> Shut up, girl. <laughs> I won't smack you. Um, I like my, my, my body parts and pieces parts. I like being average. Thank you very much. Some women like average men. And they can be very beautiful and protecting and loving also. Thank you very much, Missy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to you. How are you doing? I love you, too. Okay? You doing all right? They threw some shit past me about being threatening to Will yesterday, and I was pissed. And I, I tried not to go off, but then I wasn't too worried about it. I'm not worried about Will and Jada. Not at all. No. Because it's done on group, uh, group connective collective things, and they need him. And he's too courageous and he's too beautiful and they need his thought process to save their asses if things go crazy. So I ain't worried about them. I, I'm not, it's not a cocky thing. It's just a numbers thing on the computer program. You get it, baby girl? Okay, so don't worry, all right? And I ain't worried about Indicare or Jenny either, no, because they're too beautiful and too brave and too many people follow them to firms and mechanisms of peace. They're just going to have to cut their markets down because um, I know my dogs and they just assume, you know, they can smilingly, lovingly take your head off if you're going to kill babies for money, and they, they don't like that, you know. So they ain't going to live that shit whole life for long before they let you have it, you know. And we'll just put the group consciousness working together, and we'll cut your head off with your own life. And you'll look like shit, and we'll look like the courageous lovers of babies that we is. Um, you don't need to mass murder people to manage your environment. You can train people to be managers of their environment without mass murder. You can train people to have good observation analysis uh, skills like me and the uh, professor. We're talking outside on the little amphitheater thing and steps there outside of Corbett. And then like the gentleman from New York that we had the long conversation to. Um, it was beautiful. Thanks. Thanks for the connects. All right, guys. I love you. You, you doing all right, Mommy? No, seriously. I do worry about you. I love you a bunch. All right? Hang in there. I'm going to see if this will load. If the phone don't recognize it, we won't get it. Well, maybe I'll load it tomorrow. I'll find out. All right, Mama? I love you too. Okay.